Hello everyone. Let's see the historical development of organizational behavior. Today, I will talk about scientific management. The inception of organizational behavior as a distinct field of study can be traced back to the early 20th century with the advent of scientific management pioneered by Frederick Taylor. Taylor's work, which laid a foundation for modern management practices, was revolutionary in its approach to improving industrial efficiency and productivity through the application of scientific principles. Frederick Taylor, often referred to as the father of scientific management, introduced a systematic approach to improving labor productivity by analyzing and synthesizing workflows. His seminal work, The Principles of Scientific Management, published in 1911, emphasized the importance of scientifically studying work processes to identify the most efficient methods of task performance. Taylor proposed that, through the meticulous analysis of tasks, the implementation of standardized procedures, and the use of precise time and motion studies, organizations could achieve substantial improvements in productivity. One of the Taylor's key contributions was the development of time and motion studies, which involved breaking down tasks into their constituent elements and measuring the time required to complete each element. By doing so, he aimed to identify the one best way to perform each task, thereby minimizing inefficiencies and reducing the physical strain on workers. This method not only enhanced productivity, but also contributed to the standardization of work processes across industries. Taylor's principles of scientific management were built on four core tenets. The development of a true science for each element of an individual's work, which replaces the old rule of thumb method. The scientific selection and the progressive development of the worker. The bringing together of the science of work and the scientifically selected and trained workers. The constant and intimate cooperation of management and workers. Despite its groundbreaking nature, scientific management was not without its criticisms. One major critique was that Taylor's approach often dehumanized workers by treating them as mere cogs in a machine, focusing excessively on efficiency at the expense of worker satisfaction and creativity. This reductionist view, that is, a perspective that breaks down the whole into parts and tries to understand the whole from the nature of the parts, neglected the social and psychological aspects of work, which later scholars of organizational behavior sought to address. Nevertheless, the impact of Taylor's scientific management on the field of organizational behavior and industrial practice was profound. It introduced a more rigorous analytical approach to management and laid the groundwork for subsequent developments in organizational theory and practice. The principles of scientific management continue to influence contemporary management practices, particularly in areas such as operational management, quality control, and process engineering. In conclusion, Frederick Taylor's scientific management marked a pivotal moment in the historical development of organizational behavior. By introducing scientific principles to the study of work processes, Taylor set the stage for the evolution of modern management practices, emphasizing efficiency and productivity. While his methods face criticisms for their mechanistic view of labor, they undeniably contribute to the foundation upon which the field of organizational behavior was built.